All right, I want to give you guys a little update. I am finally ready to move on to the next chapter of my endeavors, right? Uh, this, what you see here, is going to be my space. I finally agreed on terms with the, uh, with the owner here of this building, and I'm going to lease this space. If you remember back in the day, about three years ago, I used to lease this one and then 170. So we had two of these spaces. And then, you know, things weren't going so good for me and I wasn't making money and eventually had to let go of this, right? And so I went back home and I, uh, you know, then did the whole battery thing. Back in three years ago, I was doing the camera stuff. And then I kind of focused on the battery thing and now I feel comfortable comfortable enough to again now lease uh, space. Uh, this is uh, not the cheapest space that you can buy, but it's in really good area and it's really good. Let me give you a walkthrough here of what this space looked like and what I plan to do with it. So here we go. This is about 2,000 square feet of warehouse. It's really tall, which I really like because well, it lets you stack up stuff, use every inch of it because you can stack up, you can use uh, racks, shelving up. So this is where I'm gonna do all the battery stuff. I'm gonna do a lot of these power wall um, builds and installations. I don't have room at home. And here we have a bunch of nice wall that I can use as a setup so that I can screw them on there and go, you know, from beginning to end process of how to do that, right? Also here, I'm gonna put some car lifts so that I can start doing my electric conversions for my fleet of BW buses. And I could put a bunch of these buses here because I can put a, a, a lift here and then put one on top once it's done and then one on the bottom here, you know, and then use the lift to work, but also to store them. And so here's gonna be central for the fleet to building the fleet and then eventually going and deploying it in Hawaii where uh, I, that's where I wanted the destination for these to be, right? And then of course, this is probably where I'll do the, uh, the PCB kids. I'll probably set up some tables here and I'll keep an inventory here and then we'll do the shipping from here and then out the door. Uh, it's got just a little restroom here and then it's got one office which I am going to use to uh, do a little podcast, to set up a little studio, uh, and then to take pictures of products and all this other stuff. Um, and then it's got, a this is, you know, just kind of the reception. And then here's another little office that I will use for something, no doubt, something related to video, maybe to, this will be my workspace, who knows? This is, uh, don't really need an office right now, but I do need a space to kind of play with products uh, and designs and stuff. And I probably, this is what's gonna end up being that. But anyways, this is going to be my new office workshop slash workshop. So I can work on cars and I can work on batteries and all of that stuff. Let me show you the first car that I am going to work and probably be ready, I already bought it. And I, since the last update that I did, I have uh, purchased and been able to get another two buses. So here we go. This is the one, this is number two. This is the one that I, you guys saw me working on 10 weeks straight and I got it, I got it running. It's got nice seats and here's almost its twin same year 1967 and i mean it almost looks exactly the same <laughs> look at that except this one i bought it running so this is about the same stage as that one is except it's got a gas engine but it's uh registered and it's it runs this one is pretty much in running condition and i realized that i was able to pay less for this one than that one about 10 grand less because as it turns out, I'm realizing that working, you know, like a brand, a good corner like this that doesn't have damage, it's much cheaper than a brand new corner that you have to cut in, buy first as raw metal and then 
work on it and then fix it, right? So to get a bus that it's already not rusty and uh, not dinged up and stuff, it's, it's way much cheaper, like about 10 grand. So now that I've gone through this, I basically know and I'll be able to, you know, go ahead and, you know, use that experience in the later uh, buses that I buy for the fleet. So this is the first one that's that we're going to work on uh, electrifying it and painting it and getting it ready to to rent it. So, yeah, it's pretty much the same as that. It's a walkthrough. It's got all the seats. It's got everything, everything ready to go. And of course, the cool thing is that I am next door to 170 and this is my brother's shop. This is Gabriel. This is where all the PCBs are are going out of right now, right? So we're just basically we're moving him from here to there. And then he's going to do his thing, which is his business is BW Keys and stuff. And then I'm going to do my stuff over here. So it's like, you know, we're right next to each other. So that that really works out. For me, he can keep an eye on my stuff. I can keep an eye on his stuff. It just works out. And here's a door in the back. And of course, we have our, our street here that we always use to do stuff. So that's the only thing that I don't really like about the spaces is that we have this factory here, super noisy. That runs 24 seven, like six days out of the week. So it's kind of annoying, but you know, and that noise kind of comes in here when you open up this roll up door, but whatever, we'll, we'll work through that. It'll be, yeah, it will, won't be a, a big problem. So we're good. This is gonna be awesome. So I still don't have the keys for the space. I am gonna sign the paperwork tomorrow. I think they left it open for me just so that I would be more likely to agree because we were going back and forth in the terms. And I don't know, as uh, my per my uh, credit is less than perfect. I have, uh, you know, I have some blemishes in there. And so as a result of that, man, they really wanted to give me a uh, kind of a crappy terms on this lease. And so I was like, no, 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 I'll go look on another place. You know, I don't care. This one's the closest to my house and that I've been here. So I wasn't a hundred percent, you know, married to the idea of having this one, right? So I kind of let them know that like, no, I'll, I'll go look at another place. And then they started softening up their, you know, they really want to rent this, it's been here uh, actually, it hasn't been here that long, uh, but they obviously every month that goes by that they don't rent the spaces, then they, they're losing money. So uh, finally, was able to, we were able to get into terms. And one of the key things that I didn't want to budge on was the fact that they wanted 36 months term, right? And I'm okay with that, except that I don't see myself being in here, this space being big enough. Uh, maybe from here in a year and 12 months, right? So I, I think I'm gonna need a bigger space if everything works out the way I'm, um, you know, the way I want it to. So I didn't wanna really be stuck in a lease for 36 months, not being able to go and look for a bigger space in the next 12 months. So I was able to get that and I got my way and got a 30, a 12 month lease term here. It cost me quite a bit to, be able to uh, get them to agree to that. But here we are and I am only here for 12 months. In 12 months, if things don't go my way, if things, you know, are, you know, are slower than I am anticipating, then I'm okay. I'll just sign another short term lease here or something and we'll be fine. But if things go according to plan here, according to my calculations, then I'm free to for me and my brother at the same time our leases end and so we together i think we can go and get a bigger space you know something like four or five thousand square feet or something something you know that is that is large enough for us to really get to play and do some cool projects so that's what we're doing that's just a little update here for the channel i'm gonna be able to finally finish a bunch of these projects that i just was struggling to do at home just because i don't have space I'm really cramped at home. Uh, and so here I'm going to be able to spend the time and get these projects done. So things are looking good. Thank you for watching this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.
Today is the day, guys. Today is the day. What's gonna happen today? Today's where I'm gonna move this office here, or this commercial space, into my home. I gotta combine this room together with that. Room. 